Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Royal Family. In the last episode, we had a bit of a royal love triangle between Princess Amira and her sister Princess May and Prince Johan of Brindleton Bay. So Princess Amira is engaged to marry Prince Johan, but she doesn't even like him that much. But Princess May and Prince Johan actually like each other. So Princess Amira kind of suspects that something's going on, but she's not 100% sure. But she kind of started flirting with Prince Johan just to kind of make sure she got to take what's hers. So that happened in the last episode. And then we also got to see that King Adrian of Oasis Springs, two of his mistresses, Lady Harmony and Duchess Blair, are pregnant and they had their babies. So Lady Harmony had a baby girl named Charlotte and we moved her over to Strangerville into a nice manner with a governess. And then Duchess Blair of Oasis Springs had twins, a boy and a girl named Benjamin and Kara. So in this episode, I'm kind of going to play a bit of royal matchmaker with some of the royal teenagers and even some of the noble teenagers and maybe some of the young adults we'll kind of have to see and then people are requesting that King Adrian have more bastard children so we're going to see if there's any other mistresses or maybe he'll continue his relationship with some of the old mistresses that he's had as well so if you're excited for this video give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications if you're already subscribed thank you so so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. My channel's been growing a lot very recently and I'm just so appreciative of you. Of, oh gosh. I'm so appreciative of you guys for just constantly supporting it and for making your comments and for making your suggestions and all of that too. So thank you guys so, so much. But let's go ahead and begin today's episode. So I think I'm not actually sure where to start. I'm kind of thinking we'll start at the Oasis Springs royal family. So someone commented that like they kind of made suggestions for who they think should end up together. And of course they had uh, Princess Naya and Sir Philip or Earl Phil. I think he's Earl Phil. Oh, I forgot to change this. So I had someone comment is it Brindleton Bay? Yes. So I had someone comment saying that we already have an Earl of Brindleton Bay, but I think Oh, no, wait, they are the Marquis. Did I change his name? No, it is Earl Philip. Wait, someone was telling me that they, that, uh, I'm really, really confused. Wait, Lord Franklin. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so I think what I had originally was that this is the Marquis, and I had accidentally named them the Earl and the Countess, but they're supposed to be the Marquis. So I'll just leave it as that for now, and then, I like, when, when um, what's her name? When Lady Malai takes over the title, then she will be the Marquis. So, yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. That was a little bit confusing. I was just, like, trying to figure stuff out. And then someone else also pointed out that Lady Harmony's baby what, what, where do they go? Um, Charlotte. So she shouldn't have a title. I accidentally named her Lady Charlotte just because I'm so in that habit. So when she becomes a toddler, I will delete that. Actually, maybe we could uh, age them up into toddlers in this episode, the baby. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, so I'll do that a little bit later. But for now, we want to play a little bit of Royal Matchmaker. So anyway, what I was saying is that, uh, yeah, Princess Naya and Earl Philip were going to end up together. And then Prince Francisco and Princess Belle, which they don't actually have a ro uh, romantic relationship yet. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like stuttering a little bit today. But they don't have a romantic relationship relationship yet, Prince Francisco and Princess Belle. So we'll actually go ahead and do that in this episode and see if we can. And then Prince Michael, someone was saying that Lady Helena in Willow Creek would be a good fit. So I think it was Lady Helena in the last episode. Oh, that's not her. Lady Helena in the last episode, I think had asked, um, what's his name? Prince Jack to hang out but I don't think anything ever really ended up happening between them. Plus she has a twin sister, Lady Katarina. So, I mean, one of them could end up with Prince Michael. Maybe he'll flirt with both and see what happens. Um, and then of course, Princess Meghan is engaged to marry Prince Kellen of Windenburg. So they already have a pretty strong relationship going right now. And then we'll kind of have to see if we run into anyone who could be a mistress for King Adrian. I think there's a few options that we have. Ooh, I actually have someone in mind. So I'll do that later though. I'll come back to that. Okay, so why don't we go ahead? It looks like Prince Michael is somewhere and I don't know where. He's at the Umbridge Manor. Where's that? I guess we'll find out. Oh, wait, Prince Michael is already at Lady Katarina and Helena's house. <gasps> oh, guys. So I guess he's already, well, okay. So he hasn't introduced himself to Lady Katarina yet, but 
Hey, he like wants to be in a relationship with them, I guess. Who's it? Lady? Oh! Oh, he already has a romantic relationship with Lady Helena. Wait, when did that happen? I'm so confused. Oh, okay. So, I guess Lady Helena is his romantic interest, you guys. So, I think we can just see if anything happens like a little bit more between them. I think that Prince Michael, so let's see. What kind of person are you? So, that's your character values, your traits. So, you're cheerful and a goofball. He loves romantic sims. He hates bad personality and he's creatively talented. Okay. So, what is his skills? Let's see. So, he is kind of on level level one for pretty much all the skills, but if he's if he is creatively talented, I guess that means that he could be good at like painting or even music maybe. Although I think for music, it would say musically talented. Um, but it looks like he is talking to Earl Peter right now. So maybe he's trying to get permission to ask Lady Helena out on a date. It is a Saturday morning, so it's really early to be going out on a date, but maybe he would like take her to go see the sunrise somewhere or something. So why don't we ask her out on a date? and see if anything happens. Oh, no, wait, what happened? Nope, you want to ask her out on a, oh wait. Okay, well, I guess you can compliment her appearance first and then ask her out on a date. I'm trying to figure out where they can go though. So ask out on date and then we'll see if she says yes. There's like just a tad bit of a romantic interest going there, but it looks like they're pretty good friends already. So that's a good thing. So let's see, where should they go on a date? Where are places that I have not really gone to? We could check out Newcrest because I have like a bunch of cool venues there. So we have a restaurant, we have a nightclub, but it's like 6 a.m. So probably not there. And then we have a little coffee shop, which we've been there before actually plenty of times. But if they're going to go see the sunrise, should we go to Brendleton Bay? That might be a good place to go, although we've been there before, like we've seen the sunrise here, but why don't we just go here? So this is the place that King Jared and Queen Nina got married. Actually, we really haven't paid much attention to the royal family of Brindleton Bay. So maybe in the next episode, I will pay a little bit more attention to them and maybe create a good storyline for them because Prince James, he's not like, we don't know if he's interested in anyone or anything, but we haven't paid much attention to him. So we'll definitely go ahead and do that. So Lady Helena, okay, so I guess you can ask her about her siblings, but I think we want to like really go, go hard on the flirting here. So let's go ahead and just like do a ton of romantic, uh, what are they called? Romantic interactions. Whoa, we already have enough to like do a first kiss. Is it too soon? Let's do a pickup line first and then we'll do a first kiss. It seems a little early to me, but they are having a suggestive conversation. Okay, let's see. Oh, first kiss, you guys. Okay. Oh, they would have very blonde children. All right, let's see. Ask about children. I think Lady Helena might be the heir to the title. I think she's the older twin. So that would give prince michael a place to go when he gets married so that would be a good thing so i think we might like try to I, and i think his parents would probably push him to marry lady helena too because it would give them a place to go they want what's best for their children where is she going no come back where are you going where is she going is she going to the bathroom or something we can blow her a kiss and then i'm going to cheat need make happy so she doesn't try to run away again you can't run away from us you can't run away from our prince Okay, so blow kiss. I guess it has to be girlfriend. This was really fast. Should we ask to be girlfriend already? Is it too soon? I mean, I think his parents are like pushing this relationship a lot. So, but maybe not yet. Maybe they would be a little bit like adventurous. Maybe they would like mess around a little bit. All right, is it too early? Is she a lady? Is she gonna get upset about this? They don't have that much of a romantic interest, but she's feeling very flirty. And her date is already on gold. I know you guys can't see that because my face cam's in the way. But let's see if she's interested in messing around. She is! She wants to mess around, you guys! Of course, it's a pr You guys! <laughs> There's a random closet in the back here. Did I put this here? Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's a standalone closet just in the back. It kind of looks like a porta potty, but it's not. But it's basically there for anyone to mess around in. It's the mess around closet. I think it's like officially dubbed as that. I think it must be famous for that, to be honest. Oh my God, that's hilarious. I It's very out of place. I wonder if I should delete it, but then no one who comes here would have a place to mess around. So I don't know, but they are messing around. So they are definitely feeling adventurous. I don't know if he's gonna ask her to be his girlfriend yet. Maybe he'll keep his options open a little bit, even though his parents would definitely be pro this, but I feel like 
his, I feel like he would be the type to be like, mm, like maybe I just wanna, like what? I don't think he'd wanna marry his first girlfriend, you know? I don't know if he'd wanna be tied down that fast. So I'm gonna end this date here because we're already on the gold. So that, that was very quick actually. So I am going to go ahead then and let's switch over to Prince Francisco. So it's a Saturday. So uh, I think, yeah, we're going to switch control to him. And then since it's a Saturday, maybe he would ask Princess... Maybe I should switch over to the view of Princess Belle. Because I feel like Princess Belle is the one who has a really big crush on him. Because Prince, Prin Prince, Prince Francisco was flirting with Princess Amira in the last episode. So let's go ahead and switch to the control of Princess Belle because I feel like she was the one, she would be the one to initiate all of the flirting and stuff too. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. So since they are triplets and I'm trying to get a romantic uh, uh, relationship going with a lot of Sims for each of them, I think we're just going to like kill three birds with one stone and I'm going to just invite all of their romantic interests over. So Princess Belle, we want Prince Francisco to come here. So she's gonna invite him to come over. And then Prince Louis, so we thought that Lady Corinne would be the potential future queen for Willow Creek. So I'm gonna invite her to hang out because he didn't actually ask her to be his girlfriend yet. So Prince Francis will be right over and then Lady Corinne, she will hopefully be over soon. And then for Prince Jack, so I think, who are we looking at for him? Who was he flirting with? I don't remember if he got a romantic relationship going with her or not, but wait, whoa, 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 whoa wait. Where is Lady... I don't see who he was talking to in the last episode. She was definitely a late... Where, where is she? Wait, what? He definitely knows Lady Helena and Lady Katarina. Well, that... Okay, why don't I just... I can use the... What's it called? M-C-C-C... -C -C. I can use that to uh, get someone to come over. Wait, where is it? Do I have to, like, click on him? Because you can teleport Sims to come here. So MC Command Center, Sim Commands, and then teleport, wor teleport World Sim to this Sim. Does it have to be, oh no, I was like, does it have to be someone he knows? Okay, so her name is Lady, I think we're gonna do Lady Katarina because Lady Helena kind of has a thing with Prince, oh, oh Prince Michael, I was like, oh my gosh. So she kind of has a thing with Prince Michael. So, but I don't know guys. Do, do we think Lady Helena might kind of be a player? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, let's see who I see first. So Lady, I don't, I don't see any of them yet. Oh my gosh, this is a long list. There are a lot of people in our game, you guys, that we don't even play with that much. Okay, so I saw them both at the same time. So Lady Helena and Lady Katarina. What is my Lady Katarina? And then if anything happens with Lady Helena, then We'll see what happens, but so what well, he definitely needs to introduce himself to her first so friendly introduction because that's kind of necessary Okay, and then Prince Louis so he can talk to Lady Corinne. So why don't you both? Let's go ask her ask to cloud gaze and then Princess Belle So you don't have any romantic relationship going with Prince Francisco yet So you need to get that started. Maybe you guys can like go play chess together yeah, play with Prince Francis. And then you guys can get a little bit of alone time because we don't want them to be in a group conversation because it's really awkward when you start flirting in a group conversation. So Prince Jack is talking to Lady Katarina right now. They definitely need to get to know each other a little bit more. So, okay, so everyone's got their privacy. So Princess Belle, she's like, oh my gosh, I finally get alone time with Prince Francisco. So I think she really does like him. I think she thinks he's really, really cute. So I think maybe she'll start flirting a little bit. Princess Belle is the good girl. She is a goody two shoes, which I don't know if Prince Francisco would find that like attractive or not. Maybe he would, but I think that they would be really, really cute together. So maybe do, okay, so she's flirting with him and then compliment to his appearance. So maybe like she's subtly hinting at all of this. So feeling forlorn. No one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother? I'll always love you. That affects his empathy, but it's okay. Okay. So, and then we have Prince Louis. Oh my gosh, guys, they're through the wall. This is weird looking. I imagine there's like a hole in here that they've like put their bodies through or something. This is so weird. Okay, so maybe you guys should like go sit or something or just stand up and like stop laying in this random wall. Okay, flirt with her and then tell her she's beautiful. Compliment her appearance. 
And then how's Prince Jack do it? Well, nope, you lost Lady Katarina. Where did she, where did she go? Wait, you, did you, you're not doing very good at this Princess, Prince, Princess Jack, Prince Jack. Oh no, and then Princess Belle is getting up too. No, you guys. Okay, is there any, there's no romantic relationship going with them? Yet, but she's supposed to be talking with him. It says chat with Prince Francisco. Oh, I found Lady Katarina. Okay, good. Okay. It's like when you are looking for something else, then you like find the other thing you were looking for. That's how my life is like all the time. So Lady Katarina, so there's, wow, that was fast. They already have like a really good friendship going. So then he can flirt with her, do a pickup line. I think he thinks she's really cute. Like, although, ooh, I don't know where they're gonna go because Prince Francis, oh no, Prince Michael and her sister, Lady Helena, they would move into their house. So I don't know where they would go. So we need to find a place for them. But I was kind of thinking, so since Princess Naya is engaged to marry Sir Philip, which I don't know if, or I keep calling him Sir Philip, you guys, because I'm not used to a teenager having a title, but Earl Philip, since she is engaged to marry him, they would have an empty house. So maybe Prince Francisco and Princess Belle could move into their house and become the Earl and, yeah, it would be the Earl. Yeah, become the Earl and Countess of Brindleton Bay. So that is an option. So yeah, I feel like that they would be nice enough because Princess Nay, I feel like loves her younger siblings. Like I feel like she's a really good big sister. So I think that she would try to convince Earl Philip to do that. So making friends, just keep being friendly. Okay, okay, so Princess Belle, there's no romantic relationship at all with them, you guys. I don't know if this is working. I think maybe he like just sees her as a friend. She's feeling really confident though. So let's try a bold pickup line and see if anything happens there. With Prince Louis, what happened? Did you lose Lady Corinne? I can't find her. Oh wait, there she is. Okay, so Lady Corinne. So I don't know how well your romance is going with her, but you already have a bit of a romantic relationship going with her. So just keep flirting. Okay, Princess Belle finally has a little bit of romance going with Prince, or yeah, with Prince, oh my gosh, guys, there's so many names, with Prince Francisco. <sighs> okay, so Prince Francisco and her, and he's feeling very flirty too, but she's feeling very confident. So I think he's like really into this though, because I mean, he's kind of flirted with Princess Amira, but he's never had a girlfriend or never had a first kiss or anything yet. But I don't know if Princess Belle would be so easy to like put out and kiss. Like I feel like she would hold him off with the kiss for a really long time. Like a lot of her flirting, I think she's just gonna keep it like at flirting and I don't even know if she'd go for like a hug quite yet, but I don't think she would do a risque question or if she would do a kiss or anything like that. She would definitely not kiss his neck. Maybe she would hold his hand. We could try holding hands, but they having they are having an armorous exchange. So things are going pretty well between them. Looks like Prince Jack and Lady Katarina don't have any romantic relationship going yet, but they have suddenly become best friends, even though they've just met. So I feel like that means that they get along really well. And I feel like they probably understand each other really well. And we know that Prince Jack is a huge flirt and all right, we already have a bit of a romantic relationship going with them too. So yeah, Prince Jack, I feel like it's a big flirt. So Lady Katarina should definitely look out because I feel like he's go I feel like he's gonna try to kiss her. Even though like his whole family's home, his siblings home, he's kinda gotta do it in private. So, but I, I, I feel like he would, I feel like he would try to kiss her. Um, Prince Louis though, looks like he's feeling very flirty. I don't know where Lady Corinne went, but it looks like Queen Cora and King Edmund are like kind of on chaperone patrol. They are just like, they're in the middle of the, the foyer, making sure that like none of their kids are going upstairs or anything like that. I feel like they would be a little bit strict about that. But it looks like with Lady Corinne, we could have a first kiss with her. So why don't we go ahead and try that with Prince Louis and Lady Corinne. All right, guys, their first kiss is in the rain, which is pretty cute. So this is going to be their first kiss. I'm really excited. I think Lady Corinne would be a really great queen. I don't know why they're not kissing though. Wait, what happened? Wait. <laughs> You were supposed to kiss her! Why didn't you do it? Okay. Kiss hands. Well, but you were supposed to do a first kiss. Why don't you- oh wait, uh, I don't- I don't care. Go away. Okay, so why don't we sit here and try to do a first- wait, wait, no, but we can't invite Lady Corinne to come over here too. I wanted to sit and chat there. Why did he decide not to kiss her? He was going to. Does he not like Lady Corinne as much as we thought he did? 
I hope not. I really like her. Okay, so invite, call her over and then maybe she will come over and sit down with you. Okay, so now they are finally getting some privacy and sitting together. So I don't see the first kiss option anymore, but hopefully that'll change. Okay, kiss hands. Okay, I thought she was gonna turn away as Rose for a second. I was like, oh shoot. Okay, uh, reveal crush. Tell her that you like her. You gotta be open about it. Flirt with her, kiss her hands. Oh, that's really cute, you guys. Okay, so, oh, oh wait, I just saw the first kiss option. Where to go? First kiss. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so we are finally going to ha get to have them kiss you guys. Oh, yay, that's really, oh, okay, that's cute. They're cute. I like them a lot. Okay, so the fact that Princess Belle and Prince Francisco have a little bit of a romantic relationship going on and Prince Jack and Lady Katarina, although I don't know where Lady Katarina went. I feel like I just saw her but I don't see her anymore. Although I did want Prince Jack to try to kiss her. I feel like that was kind of his goal by inviting her over. Well, I mean, he didn't even know her really when he invited her over, so maybe not. But I, I kind of wanted him to kiss her. Everyone else though, I think is all set. I don't know where she went. If we invite her to play chess, will she come here? Let's see, play with Lady Catter. I think she left. Well, shoot, Prince Jack is really not having any luck with the ladies, you guys. In the last episode, I don't remember if it was Lady Helena or Lady Katarina, but they left too. So he's maybe not the best player in the world. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Maybe he's just like kind of coming on too strong. So they're like, okay, that's enough. So, so yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna leave them at that. So I'm kind of thinking then maybe we should go ahead and age up the little little bastard kids of King Adrian. We we kind of want him though to maybe have more children so we can actually age them up from King Adrian's point of view so I can go back to the royal family of Oasis Springs and then maybe he'll try for another baby with one of them again too. So yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we are with the royal family of Oasis Springs. So what is Queen Lindsay wearing? Uh-uh, nah, -uh. what is this? What? option of outfit is this? Change into your normal outfit. Okay, so I kind of feel like the word might be spreading about King Adrian's affairs. So I think we're gonna have Queen Lindsay, oh not romance, I think we're gonna have her confront him a little bit about it. So I think maybe just like, I don't know if she would really like accuse him right away. I think she's kind of gonna question him about it. So I think we're gonna argue. Well, no, I, there's nothing really to argue about like romance wise. Maybe insult, would she insult him or yell at him? I don't know if she'd yell at him right away though, but maybe she would argue. Okay, we're gonna say like argue about parenting, but it's, it's it could be arguing about parenting. Like you're a bad parent if you're setting a bad example by going out and having affairs. But I feel like she's kind of like starting to question him a little bit, a little bit about it. So maybe, maybe start to insult him. I know that's really risky to do that for a king, but, and then like yell at him. Cause I feel like she's starting to feel like maybe, yeah. And I, I feel like he's like telling her, no, you're like, you're being stupid. Like I'm not having affairs or I don't know, maybe he would own up to it too, because it's kind of normal back then for kings and stuff to have affairs. But our, our game isn't like, it's not contemporary. It's kind of like this own little time period and, and world. So it's like, that's why I like, don't make things specifically to a, like to a specific culture. Um, plus, I mean, what he's wearing is, is very contemporary too. So, but I don't know, they're arguing. And they're both like, oh my gosh, this is enough. <laughs> so I don't think their marriage is going well, is the whole point of that. And Queen Lindsay's already getting pretty angry. But I mean, their their relationship hasn't even gone down that much. But I think this is the start of their relationship starting to go downhill. So I think he's like, okay, I've had enough of this. I'm going to go visit my children. So we're going to go ahead and go to the, where are they? The Duke of Oasis. Oh no, although Lady Harmony had her baby first. So I think he's gonna go into Strangerville and sneak into, well, sneak into Strangerville, I guess. But this is probably like the least risky mistress to visit. You know what, maybe he should try, oh my gosh, why can't I talk? Maybe he should try things with Lady Jill again because things didn't work out with them the last time. Okay, so this is the first time any of our royal family members have stepped into here. Whoa, oh, he's enraged. Oh gosh, okay, so maybe you should offer gratitude, gratitude to Lady Harmony. So I don't know if he knows the extent of her craziness yet, especially because he just kissed her and I didn't tell him to do that. 
But he's so enraged, so I think he's going to. I don't know if he'd provoke her. Maybe. Do you, I think he would treat his like mistresses like not not great. So I think she's like, um, okay, like I think you're in a bad mood. So you need to, yeah, she's yelling back to him. She's like, calm down, you need to stop. So I, maybe he should apologize to her for doing that. I don't see an apology. Does he not want to apologize for, okay. Oh my gosh, she's still yelling at her. I'm not telling him to do this. Stop yelling. This is too much. No, uh, no, you definitely don't want to ask her to move in. Why can't you apologize? Oh, smooth apology. Okay, so he's gonna do a smooth apology. So let's see if this works. Is she accepting it? She's like, okay, fine. All right, yeah, because I'm the mother of your child. So he's gonna knock on the door and we're gonna see the baby. So I do need to change her name to just Charlotte when she turns into a toddler. And then we'll see if I need to change. Oh my gosh, this house is so empty. You moved her into this awful, awful, very empty. This is such an empty house. <gasps> he should give her a better house than this. Oh gosh, we'll do that later on. I think she deserved, like, I think he, oh, and now it's a floating baby. Well, I mean, we're gonna age her up anyway, so it doesn't matter, but <laughs> I keep forgetting that the babies float. That happened in the last episode too. So Lady Charlotte is very hungry. We don't want that to happen, but we're gonna age her up. So I don't even know where she went. Where'd she go? Where's the baby? She disappeared. What is this? Emotional meltdown. Where's the baby? Um, what is happening? Where's our child? Oh, I found her. Oh my gosh, that terrified me. I was like, what did we do to her? Okay, so I'm going to modify her so we can change her name and I'm probably just gonna change her outfit and hairstyle too because neither of them have curly hair. So I don't think she would have curly hair. So we're gonna delete the late. Well, she's the king's daughter though. I think, he, I think she would be named lady because the king would like name his sons like Duke if even if it was a bastard child. So I think, I think he is gonna keep the name Lady. I think he's going to dub her as like, even though it is a bastard child and people like know that about Lady Harmony. So I don't know, you guys let me know what you think, but like I totally, totally know in history that kings have like given their, their bastard children names like, like Duke or something like that. So I think we're just gonna keep it for now and then you guys can let me know. Maybe we'll do this cute little braid and then we'll do some cute like toddler dress. I miss the toddler outfits because all of our royal babies, they were toddlers at one point and they were so, so cute. So this is a very contemporary dress. Oh, it even has like a little flamingo on the back. That's, oh wait, what did I do? Uh, go back. Um, it had a flamingo on the back, so it's really, really cute. And then, but maybe we should just do something like this, like a little sundress, and then, ooh, this is cute. It has like a, oh, it's like a rainbow dress. That's adorable, that's cute. I think we're gonna keep that. And then maybe just like some flats or something. Okay, so this is Lady Charlotte. Oh, she's mean. Oh no, she's fussy, oh, okay. But that might mean that she might turn mean. You guys, and you guys were saying that maybe she would come back and try to take over the throne when she grows up. So that's a possibility. Lady Charlotte might be evil. That's that's a very, very possible, guys. So that would be very interesting if that were to happen. So I don't know, though, if King Adrian is going to try for another baby with her. I don't know. I feel like he's kind of like realizing that Lady Harmony is like a, just a tad bit crazy. So maybe not yet. Although now we're playing from their point of view. So I need to switch back to King Adrian. But so I think we're gonna play from King Adrian's point of view and I think he's gonna try to see, no, no, we gotta age up the, the twins that Duchess Blair has too. Or maybe I should just let them age up on their own. Uh, maybe I'll do that in the next episode. I'll save that for the next episode. So for now, I think he's going to try to talk to Lady Jill and see if he can make things happen with her again because he needs to fix the bad, awful date that they had a few episodes ago. Okay, so King Adrian is here at Lady Jillian's and oh, their romance though didn't, does not look good. Although guys, he needs to put on a disguise. I just realized that. So we need to find a mirror and he needs to put on a disguise because he does not want to be seen. I feel like for StrangerVille, it was totally fine because like nobody we know lives in StrangerVille. That is a very deserted area. So we're going to put a celebrity disguise on because yeah, that needs to happen. Otherwise it's just like a little too obvious. So I think he's gonna try to apologize and uh, offer gratitude to Lady Jillian because I think he's looking for some new, some new, 
new girls, new mistresses. So um, he's gonna offer his gratitude and then try to flirt with her and see how that goes. Okay, so she seems like she's being pretty nice to him. He hasn't started flirting with her yet though. So we'll see how that goes. For oh wait, no, I don't wanna ask a risky question now. I think that's a little bit too soon. Uh, discuss logic puzzles. Um, the flirting seems to be going okay. It's really dark in here though. But um, yeah, so the flirting seems to be going okay. Maybe try a pickup line. And then it looks like the the bad romance is going down a little bit. So talk about war tenter. So I'm gonna try to balance it a little bit between romance and friendly interactions. Okay, so it looks like it's we're completely neutral with the romance now. So that's good. So I think we can start flirting a little bit more, especially since their friendship is so high. Guys, she's feeling very flirty and it's turned into armor's exchange. So kiss her hands, maybe. Oh, so should we be doing this in the middle of their house? Maybe they should go outside or something. I don't know, is there a place for them to sit out oh there is okay yeah you guys should go like right here so sit and chat there okay so now they have a little bit more privacy so although you guys lady jill is not married to anybody now either i wonder now that she's starting a thing with king adrian maybe she would try to find a husband like right away because she doesn't want to be banished like lady harmony was and we don't want her to be banished either so i think since there's like a little bit of a romance going on she might find someone to try to marry right away i think she might have someone in mind there are a few single nobles around here too but i'm gonna have to i'm gonna make them have their first kiss and then let's try, cause I think I downloaded the risky woohoo thing on here. So I think we're gonna try that. And then I'm probably by the next episode gonna have her marry somebody so that, that they will think like, cause so she'll have a baby in wedlock. Cause I don't know if she, I think she's too smart to like be like Lady Harmony and be banished and all that stuff too. So yeah, I think we're gonna do that. So it doesn't actually look like they have that much of a romantic relationship right now. So I don't know if we have enough to try a risky woohoo, but we could try. So it doesn't look like it's an option yet. Maybe offer a rose. Although it looks like their friendship's going down a little bit, but they're having a steamy exchange and their romance is going up. I don't understand that. <gasps> Guys, I found the risky woohoo option. Risky woohoo in bed. I forgot he also had a little bit of a romantic interest going on with her mother too, so that would be weird. Okay, oh my gosh, guys, they're gonna try a risky woohoo. I've never done this before, so I'm not gonna be able to know if she's pregnant or not. So you guys will have to just find out in the next episode. But, so they're doing a risky woohoo. So, oh my gosh, you guys, this is like, oh, I don't know if they're gonna have a baby. And I think she's definitely going to try to find someone to marry right away. I think her mom might have someone planned for her too. So she's like definitely okay with being in arranged marriage as long as she can still keep seeing the king. Cause I think she's falling kind of head over heels for him. So I think we're gonna end this episode here. They're kind of doing their little woohoo thing. So we'll let them do that. So in the next episode, we will find out if she's pregnant. We will get to see, I'm sure she will be married in the next episode because that's kind of my goal with this. So um, where she's gonna be married, she's going to, or we're gonna be able to see if she's going to have a baby or not. And then in the next episode, we can kind of focus a little bit more, I think on the Royal family of Brindleton Bay. So I'd like to focus on Prince James a little bit because we don't pay too much attention to him. So I'd like to give him his own story so we can focus on him. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know any suggestions you have in the comments below. I love seeing your guys' suggestions and comments. If you guys are enjoying this video, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.